Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. Uh, firstly, I just want to say thank you so much for all of the comments and likes uh, and views on the last video. It really was an overwhelming success. Um, the last video was really an unboxing, uh, full setup and speed test of a Starling kit I recently got. Um, and one of the most overwhelming comments and questions I got on that video was to do with people wondering where their Starling kit is. They've already paid their deposit. And also other people asking if they pay their deposit now, when can they expect to see their Starlink? So that's what the purpose of this video is today is to decipher A, where your guys' Starlinks are currently um, and B, when you can realistically expect them to arrive. Oh, and C, what you can do in the meantime. Okay guys, so the first reason really is um, obvious to some and not to others who are very new to Starlink. Starlink is still in beta, so that means it's still uh, very much in a testing phase. There's no exact numbers being released by SpaceX, but from looking around and doing some research over the last couple of weeks, people are kind of determining that there's about 90,000 to 100,000 units out there being tested at the moment. So while there's an awful lot of people who have paid their deposit for Starlink, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to receive theirs straight away. I'm based on the west coast of Ireland, and I was very, very lucky to be in an area that SpaceX obviously wanted to start some testing in. Over time, more and more areas are going to be selected for testing. And overall, when Starlink comes out of beta and into alpha, it's going to be rolled out uh, throughout the masses anyway. So that kind of leads us on to reason number two. Reason number two is that there's limited testers per cell. If you're not familiar with cells and Starlink cells, they are areas of ground approximately 15 kilometers in diameter that Starlink are using for testing. And also when they roll out fully, they're going to be using these cells and assigning your Starlink inside its own cell. There's no official stance from SpaceX or Starlink on this, but it does seem likely that there's a limited number of testers per cell. So if you happen to have your Starlink kit, you may be the only person around you for quite some distance to have one for some time to come. SpaceX priority is obviously to test all around the world in different places. So guys, moving on to number three, the reasons why you may not have your Starlink kit um, is pretty much down to your agreement with Starlink. Uh, those are those pesky terms and conditions that you agree to once you sign up for a service or a product. So guys, in your agreements with SpaceX regarding Starlink, Payment deposit does not obligate SpaceX to provide you with the Starlink kit and services and does not guarantee that the Starlink kit and services will be available to you. Enrollment limits may apply. Starlink kit designs and services are subject to change based on technological innovation. The service availability dates are estimates only and subject to change. SpaceX does not guarantee when services will actually be available in your region. Service delivery is dependent on many factors, including various regulatory approvals. So guys, let's move on to what you can actually do in the meantime while you're waiting for your Starlink to arrive. So guys, the first thing you can do isn't very proactive, but it is the most realistic option, and that is to wait for your Starlink to come out, be it later this year or even early next year. Your deposit is fully refundable, so you can pull your deposit back to you if you wish but I would be more inclined to leave that $99 where it is, and when Starlink arrives, it arrives. If you happen to end up with fiber connection in the meantime, then you can pull your refund at that point, so long as your Starlink hasn't been shipped. And lastly, this is kind of obvious and hopefully not too patronizing, but do check your spam folder for that email from SpaceX and Starlink. Your email client might get confused and think it's some sort of advert, when in fact it actually might be the release email you've been waiting for to let you know that your Starlink is ready to be shipped and to pay your final invoice uh, to get the ball rolling. So guys, I hope that video was really helpful for you. Some of you, of course, are very familiar with Starlink and SpaceX and what's happening at the moment. So you may have already known some of those points. Uh, but for those of you who are brand new to Starlink and what's happening at the moment with regards to the rolling out of the product, I hope that video was really, really helpful for you. Please do take a look at my previous video where I unbox, set up Starlink and run some speed tests. And please do subscribe so that you can see my next video in about a week or two's time where I test Starlink one month in. So I'm going to compare my speed tests from day one um, to one month in and so on. So please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.